Hey guys, Nurse Mike from Mike on the Mic. We're over here at FIU interviewing a nurse practitioner student. Your name? Ariel. Ariel. And you graduated with your RN from here, correct? Correct. I graduated from FIU. Nice. <laughs> what, is it the Panthers? Or? The Panthers, yes. Yeah. Go Panthers! Go Panthers. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, all right. So, nursing school tips for future nurses out there. Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're in the program right now. Any tips you would say? So, some tips. Um, I would say use your resources and use each other. I think the biggest thing about nursing and healthcare in general is working as a team, working with others, learning how to um, be humble, know when you don't know something, mm -hmm. and learn the right resources to find that nice. information. Okay. Yeah. What did what did you what would you recommend in terms of resources that that helped you in your journey? Oh what no! Would I recommend? <laughs> You're like looking at me. No 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 yeah yeah. <laughs> obviously simple nursing videos, but uh, <laughs> no, very obviously because that's actually what I do tell the students. Really? Yes, and oh, I've used some of the videos and like their homework and stuff. I'll have them watch your videos. Oh, this has been sponsored by Simple Nursing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, for real. What is something you wish you would have known before starting? I would say time management is like really really important if okay. you don't time manage there's no way you can get everything done how, how do you currently time manage or what have you learned so far an agenda is very important oh, like okay. it's really like underrated I would say but mm -hmm. if you don't have an agenda there's no way that you can I mean at least me maybe mm -hmm. there's people that can keep everything in their head but I can't keep I have to have everything written down to be able to know what task I got to do on a calendar Correct. Yeah. What kind of calendar? Digital or paper? Digital for you? does not work for me. It doesn't work. I, okay. I can do digital notes, okay. but I cannot do a digital calendar. So oh. it's got to be like paper. Like I got to go and buy a, uh, an agenda really? and like have it all written down in like colors and color nice. coding. Before starting, I think I would have known, wished to known the cost of nursing school. Oh, really? Not in terms of tuition, but in the terms time. of like the time, um, the investments that you make. Yeah. Um, I knew like the tuition costs and things like that, but mm -hmm. I would definitely say the the time the investments like some nursing schools give you uniforms some don't so yeah you know, things like that okay that makes sense that makes sense most annoying part about nursing school in general you don't get a break no you breaks. finish one exam and then you're studying for the next one really there's no break yeah. how, how, how like, far apart one exam yeah and you have to start studying like you can't celebrate that like we just night. had an exam on Tuesday I passed it but I have a two next week so are you guys in a two-year program or a two year, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Two year. Definitely. Really? You need to know, like, yeah, how long it's going to take you to study. Okay. Put studying as a priority. Okay. Always. Sleep, not that much. It's not you don't get that. <laughs> how many hours a night? In a good day, it's four hours. Really? That's in a good day. Okay, okay. <laughs> how much sleep do you get a night I on average? I get average, like, five, six hours of sleep. That's good. Okay, okay. You haven't done pharmacology yet? Not yet. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Or med surge. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. That's also next semester. Okay. How many hours of sleep do you get a night currently? Some nights could be anywhere between like three, four, five. Oh, wow. Other nights, when like I don't have class the next day, mm -hmm. I'll get like a good night's sleep, eight hours. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. But nice. when I have like class the next day, mm -hmm. definitely like five, four, four or five hours. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. What gets you through? Is it the Cuban coffee? Is it the Monster Red Bull? <laughs> Coffee and a shower because if I do not okay. shower, I will not get up. Really? Like, yeah, like yeah. I'll just yeah, I just in class I'll doze off. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So the shower trick. Yeah. And coffee. Definitely. Oh, coffee. Coffee's coffee's a good one. Okay. <laughs> Tips for future nursing students out there. Just know it takes a lot a lot of studying. It's mm -hmm. it's a lot that you really have to dedicate. But you can also have fun. Don't get that confused for sure. And you're in a what is it? 15 or 16 month program? Yeah, around there. It's like five semesters, two, half, yeah, a year and a half. All the traditional routes is usually like two years or three yeah. years. Mm -hmm. How do you feel so far? Uh, it's a lot. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm not even going to lie. Really? Yeah. yeah what, what do you wish you would have known before starting the program that you would you want to know now? Um, definitely, you you know, you do undergrad and you're like, oh, I'm pretty good with time management. I know, mm -hmm. you know, I do things on time. And then you go into nursing school and you're like, yeah, you're not that good. <laughs> like, it's not what you thought. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess... You know, it is what it is. You you start, you never know what it's like. It's very different for people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tell you it's not that hard. A lot of people tell you that it's very hard. And it just depends how you manage your time. What did you use to prepare for the NCLEX back in the day? Um, I think at the beginning when I first started um, to study, I would take a little bit less per day, like maybe 50, 60. Um, I definitely didn't want to feel fatigued or burnt out. Um, but then I got as I got closer, I would just take full process exams. Really? That would be like 100 something, 200 questions okay. just to help with my endurance okay. for the exam. Yeah. Did you ever feel like you were 
adequately prepared or would you always feel like, oh crap, this anxiety or? Um, I don't know if I ever yeah. felt adequately prepared. Yeah. Um, I definitely think that it was more of a self-doubt thing because anything could happen, right? Oh, yeah. They can ask you anything on this mm -hmm. exam. Um, but I did feel like what I learned definitely did help me for the exam. Okay. Um, but you know, that's part of life. Yeah. If you, you, you always have to learn, it's always learning. So you can always know more. Yeah, yeah exactly. 